Oh, 5.30. Believe it or not, it's about 3.30 right now, and I haven't had breakfast yet. It's my first meal of the day. I've been busy all morning, and all I wanted was some dumplings for breakfast. Two more hours. All right, let's kill some time. Let's go eat pre-breakfast breakfast. That's also lunch. Right now, I'm in the Hyundai area again, and notice I eat here a lot. Hyundai is surrounded by four universities. That's why there's so much good food here, and often it's very inexpensive. BBQ Chicken was one of my favorite Korean fried chicken places. But before I came here, everyone's been messaging me to try, I don't know if it's new, this other Korean fried chicken chain called uh, BHC Fried Chicken. And I think they have a wrench here. This is how my mind works. I, I walked, I was walking up and I see the words sexy cookie. It didn't even register in my mind that it might be anything besides a cookie because to me, cookies are very sexy. But yeah, that's, they don't, they don't serve cookies. I can read that. Oh, you can eat mala tang. Be back for that. Wait, I know her. Isn't she that girl from the alien movie? The guy who's an alien who's also Korean? Chen Soo Yi? Okay, so far the menu looks really, really good. Let's go try out the fried chicken. Okay, so got the menu. It's a pretty extensive menu. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Half and half, half sauce, half fried. They got chicken that's just with sauce. They got chicken with that just fried. And they got like soy barbecue. Okay, this looks pretty good. BBU ring Mabso King combo. That looks like it'll light you up. There's black olive, there's there's curry. This is a lot of stuff. All right, I'll go get a couple combos. I got two orders of chicken. I got the mala, there's some like, compound chicken looking dish that I had to get. And then I got their, their best one, which is the cheese powder fried chicken. And they're both pretty large. I think this is at least a three person or even four person order of food. Also, kind of disturbing. Just, just, just saw the staff in the bathroom. Came out without washing his hands. But I don't think he's the one actually cooking my chicken, so. A little better. All right, this looks tremendous. This is a piece of the cheese chicken. It's so powdery. This is a really messy piece of chicken to eat. It's sweeter than I thought. That's delicious though. Ah, oh, especially for my first meal of the day. You know what this reminds me of? Like a cross between Cheetos and a Dorito, but a sweeter version. Of course, classic, super thin skim on the fried chicken. Mm. Remarkably juicy. See how thin the skin is? Super juicy meat. I mean, classic freshly fried Korean fried chicken. It's usually always very well done. It was like Cheetos and a Cool Ranch Dorito had a baby. It would taste like this. I ain't nothing wrong with that though. I love Cheetos. I love Cool Ranch Dorito. This thing is pretty outrageous, but it's a really good chicken. This I'm really interested in. It's like a compound fried chicken. I love it. This might be one of the best versions of Korean fried chicken I've had. Oh, this is tremendous. It tastes like just what I told you guys, like a fried chicken version of compound chicken. Except for this thing, it's spicy and tons of peppercorns, so you get that great Sichuan numbing feeling. This is Sichuan fried chicken, and it's done exceptionally well. Wow, this is incredible. This is better than the cheese chicken. So glad I got this. And the whole thing is beautifully cooked. Again, thin skin, nice and crispy. Mm. This meat's a juicy. Such a beautiful contrast of crispy skin and a burst of juice from the tender meat inside. While wow, every part of this chicken is just covered with this beautiful, spicy, numbing sauce. Amazing. Just come here and get this. I mean, get the Cool Ranch Dorito chicken if you want, but you 100% need to get this. And if you feel like it's not spicy enough for you, eat a chili pepper. Oh, that's crispy too. This might be one of the best Korean fried chicken I've, I've had ever. It's also just me because I love this flavor. This mala flavor is ridiculously on point. My friend Krista just got here. Krista, you haven't had this before. You should try a piece of this. I was sitting on the other opposite side, but I can already smell the mala flavor. It's oh, good. oh, it's better. Try it, try it. Good? It's so good. So good, right? <laughs> this thing is like ridiculous. It's amazing. It's like 
busting my tongue right now. Yes, it's if you want it spicier, eat another chili. Like when I came here, a lot of people told me, it's okay, it's this chicken's fine. No, off the hook. And this is what I'm really happy. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I have people near me so I can shout it from the mountaintops how good this is and have someone else try it. And this way, like, you believe me more, right? Like, you just, no, just trust me. I mean, you should. But it's better when you get a testimonial, you know? Like, ah, oh, I wish more people were here so I can share the good news of this chicken with them. So happy with this. I feel like I'm in Citron right now eating this. And normally, I don't even need the radish, but tongue's on fire right now. My favorite chicken place now. This place. Next up, we're at Hapjong, and this this dumpling place is open 24 hours a day. Uh, 24 hours a day. It got friends all over Seoul or maybe Korea, and it's really famous. It's really good. It's really good. It's my favorite dump Korean dumpling place in whole Korea. All Korea. All Korea. How many dumpling places have you been at? A lot. Really? Like, I love dumpling, and this I one. I think I trust her. This one and the Yongdong Gyoja both are my favorite. Top two. All right, uh, let's let's see if it's really that good. This place, steamed dumplings. We got an order of galbi and an order of mixed dumplings. The galbi dumpling. When you're in Korea, you gotta get this. That is amazing. Wow, that is very galbi. You can definitely taste the strands of beef in this dumpling. It's a little sweet, as is most Korean food. That's why you need a little dipping sauce, but you can definitely taste the quality of meat in here. Wow. Skin is perfect. Paper thin, you can see through this thing. Meat, really nice chew. I don't like it when like dumpling like filling, you chew it, it just evaporates. Like, was it ever even there? I call those ghost dumplings. But these, you can actually taste the filling. You can chew it. It's it's on your tongue, just slowly melting away. That's a good dumpling filling. And it's distinctively, distinctively Korean. And every single plate is like 250. <laughs> So, it's awesome. Like two dollars and fifty cents. It's basically four dumplings for a dollar, almost. Mm. That's perfect. I'm gonna give you some soup. That's actually really good. Seaweed soup. I like this. This place is definitely a bang for your buck. 100%. Just put a little bit of chilies in the dipping sauce, like I did. You're good to go. Hori dumpling. That's great. I think the overall theme of these dumplings is just paper thin skin and quality filling. And I like the Pillsbury Doughboy. The skin is never doughy. You just pop in your mouth and they'll go down the hatch easily. Mm. It's so delicate, the kimchi dumpling. That one woke me up. Wow. That one's, that one's spicy. Yeah. That I think on the normal scale, like a normal people hot scale, is like an eight out of 10. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're just like a casual spice lover, you wouldn't be able to handle that. That thing is still hurting me right now. Oh. I didn't expect that to hurt me. You gotta be careful. I mean, you're just having a good dumpling of a time and all of a sudden you put one of those suckers in your mouth. I mean, if you like spicy, that's gonna make the party better. It's gonna make you happier. But if you're not at least able to handle maybe 10 times the fire sauce, at Taco Bell, I don't mean like 10 packs, I mean like that spice level times 10. You might have some problems with this. I like it though. That pain was kind of surprising. It was like, you go in your mouth, you're like, oh, this is delicious, the kimchi is great. All of a sudden, the power of the chilies just start stomping on your tongue. Ah, to me, that's a lot of fun, I like it. I like it, stump away, hurt me. That's the good kind of pink. You want to try that spicy one? Okay, I will. I will make it last. Roll it Yes. Can you handle spicy though? Nope. No. No? <laughs> it's okay. Don't have the fun. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I can see why this is your favorite place. I'd be coming here all the time. Cheap dumplings. You get it right away. Steamed. A good quality. Flavor is magnificent. Oh, Chris is about to do it. If I don't appear in the next video, you will know this is the, my cast of that. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, it doesn't hurt yet. Now it just tastes good. 
They should be hitting you in a few seconds now. A few moments later. You good? You good? How you doing? How you doing? You want that ice cream now? It's not the regular no, Korean. No, it's very yeah. spicy. It's very spicy. That is not typical Korean chili. <laughs> yeah, that's... Okay, this really wakes me up as well. I mean, it's good. It's still good. I would try it. It's fine. I survived, so... We'll go get some ice cream. My favorite cafe in all of Seoul. Not, not because of the environment, just... Just this one thing they have. My third time here. This, this place has been on my videos like three times. I'm always coming here. Trust me, if you, you're in Seoul, try this once. You will be addicted. I mean, I guess if you don't want any addictions, then don't come here. But if you do come here, this will become one of your obsessions. It's so good. Right? It's amazing. You found the best place in Korea, really. You always... Wow, that's... That's a little... I don't think I did that, but... This is really... Anytime I think about dessert, I think about this right now. I'm gonna go back to the US. I'm gonna start shaving random cheese on my ice cream and see which one works out. restaurant I'm trying to get into lying out the doors like 9 p.m. now so it's still packed finally I'm next but this place looks amazing oh I see the fried rice that I want oh I can't wait for the fried rice I think I found a gem of a restaurant here haven't taken a single bite of food but it's already amazing. Look at the spread in front of me. And what he's doing is that they're laying the pork belly on this grill and then they're adding kimchi and scallions and green beans where the grease from the pork is dripping downhill and they put all the veggies down in the pool of grease. Pork fat, in a pool of pork fat where they just soak up all that great flavor and that's how they're cooked. And then you take, take the meat you dip it in this egg sauce, and then you eat it with some of the kimchi. No wonder this place is always packed. It's still like full house right now. Crispy pieces of bacon, just a perfect racial breakdown of lean and fat meat. The fat from that bacon is already so amazing. Dip it in some of this creamy, egg sauce and the heat from the bacon it kind of heats up the egg just a little bit and then you add some of that kimchi or whatever veg has been soaking up all that pork fat so it creates an extra layer of creaminess I mean this is the perfect way to, to eat the kimchi or eat any vegetables I mean have it just cooked in bacon grease and the egg dipping sauce is really such a genius move We gotta cook that pork belly to the perfect donish. The first batch that we did, we overcooked it a little bit. So it's still nice, crispy bacon. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you cook it, to just when it's just cooked, with the, maybe a little sear, just put down in your mouth and get ready for the fatty part to completely disintegrate as soon as it touches your tongue. Here, they designed it so this whole tray is tilted so that all the grease is just going into this side, this corner right here, soaking into that delicious kimchi, creating just this incredible vortex of flavor. And if you think maybe the kimchi or the other vegetables cooked in the pork fat might make everything a little too much, not at all. It makes everything with too much flavor. The acid, the spice from the kimchi, that's a pork belly's best friend. That just helps you, enables you to eat more without feeling like you're eating too much fat. So right now it's about nine o'clock. We wait an hour to get in and there's a line behind us now trying to get in here and this place is open till like 1 a.m. All right, the pork is finished The best is still to come check it out
This is one of the most beautiful food wonders I've ever laid my eyes upon. Let me do a play-by-play -play of what just happened and what you're looking at. It's almost Christmas. This guy, he could work for Santa. He just bundled, wrapped the fried rice into a beautifully packaged little gift wrap thing. But before that, he put some kimchi in there, put some different types of little banchan in there. And finally, to top it off, he poured, there's a little cup sitting there catching all the grease all that great fat juice. He took that cup and poured it all into the fried rice, sealed it, and just let it steam there for about 10 minutes so all the flavor had a chance to just kind of get with each other, you know? And then you get these beautiful looking sunny side up eggs on top of the fried rice. They give you some seaweed sheets and you wrap the rice and the eggs in here. And the only thing left to do is to deliver it into your mouth. You guys gotta come and try this. It's extraordinary. The crunch comes from not just the kimchi or the seaweed. The crunch also comes from the parts of the rice that's touching the bottom that has that really nice little toasty sear on it already. And then on top of that, you add the creaminess of the egg yolk, creating just a medley of texture and flavor. You know what this really is? This is a testament that the food gods really do exist. Because this is some divine inspired stuff. This is an exceptional barbecue place. Not even expensive. I think, I think the whole thing is going to cost us like 13,000 won. Like 10 bucks. For this. Per person. Still, that's a forgin. Bork, bork, pig. It's a good deal. Hi. We're just editing this video. Sorry about how this video kind of kind of just ended. We we're just editing this video, and then all of a sudden we're like, "Oh wait, there's there's no ending." And then I remember because this was a couple weeks ago. Anyway, right after that, a friend messaged me and said that uh, they needed to go to the hospital. So I went with them, and that's what I was doing for the rest of the night. Nothing COVID related or anything, and, and they're doing fine. So everything turned out okay. But I just wanted to explain why this video just sort of all of a sudden cut off. That was really good fried rice, by the way. Just thinking back, and were those not? Some of the most beautiful eggs you have ever seen. Oh, and while I have you, I don't know if you saw on Instagram, but my hot pot kit is out. And inside you're gonna find aprons that will say you are a hot pot head, scoopy spoons, chopsticks. And this, by the way, this hot pot is called strictly hot pot. Huh? And the pot, this is the pot. This thing is actually made for one or two people. It's kind of like an intimate hot pot. It's like a date hot pot. So it's not a giant pot, but we wanted to make something that was like something kind of kind of intimate so you can have hot pot any day of the week, not just for like a big special occasion with a bunch of people. So with this, have it whatever you want. There's also the two broths, a box of really cool ingredients to put inside, instructions on how to find other ingredients if you want to. To add into it, it's really cool. This whole thing is really cool. Me and my friends spend a lot of time on this, so hopefully you like it. Oh, also, this pot is supreme quality, so nothing like the, the ones you see on Amazon. First of all, no fingerprints. The layer is very thick, nothing will chip off, nothing will come off, no matter how many times you put this on the heat. Just a really solid, good hot pot with my signature. Anyway, if you haven't picked one up, um, I think they're almost sold out. This kit is almost sold out. And if you already grabbed one, thank you so much. And by the time this video publishes, it's probably almost Christmas. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you guys. This year's, this crazy year is almost at an end. So hang in there, stay safe, stay positive. And I wish you, all of you guys, a fantastic, hopefully much, much, much better 2021. See you later.